Hello, we're Sophie's parents in Ho Chi Minh City. Um, what do we understand by speech and language therapy? We understand it to be about the physiology of speech, uh, the phonology of English, how speech sounds are produced, and stress, rhythm and intonation, with the therapeutic aim of uh, helping those who are having speech difficulties, which could be through a medical condition, such as after a stroke, or perhaps a genetic condition, people with learning difficulties. And what we know about the course from Sophie is that um, there's, a, there's at the beginning it's theory and um, lectures and then uh, there's practice with placements in schools, in hospitals and that is hard work. In, she's put a lot of energy and time into it and she has, is getting, still getting a lot out of it. And um, probably an important element is a patient, uh, patient therapist relationship, which I'm sure comes into the, the placements and the practical side. So that means having uh, the ability to make relationships with patients, have empathy for them, and um, as John said, be very patient with them and help them. Hi, um, I'm Louis and I'm Sophie's nephew. And when I was younger, I used to have bumpy speech, so I the speech and language therapists. I think that speech and language therapists help people who can't pronounce certain sounds or words and try to help them complete their task of doing that. I think they're really useful and we need a lot more in the world. Thank you. Hello. Um, my name's Lottie. Uh, I am an operations manager for the National Trust. Hard, hard to believe, I know. Um, and I have known Sophie for about 10 years, a long time. Uh, she and I were at university together, the first time she went. Um, and she is one of my bestest friends and we go on holiday together every year. So I'd like to think I sort of know what she does. Um, so I would say the most important thing a speech therapist does is helping people to um, be able to speak and articulate themselves and all the things that um, a lot of the population probably take for granted. Um, she told me quite a lot about her work with children, which I find really interesting, um, and also in hospitals, people who've had strokes or um, other kind of accidents that mean they uh, lose their ability to uh, talk probably shouldn't say normally what do I mean um I think it's just you know that innate ability which I'm not doing very well at the moment um to be able to express ourselves to other people that uh, other people can't do um and that is probably the limit of my knowledge hope that helps Bye. I think they probably help people with stammers uh people who have had problems from strokes um uh, I think that's probably it. I don't know. Stammers, strokes, speech impediments, lisps maybe. That's probably what I know. Hello, my name's Freya. Uh, I work as an opera director and singer. And I know Sophie because we went to university together and we were in the theatre company together. Uh, and I think, let me check my sentence, I think a uh, speech and language therapist um, is there to help support the voice in the best way possible, to find where the voice and the throat and the vocal cords are having issues, um, whether that's developmental, so babies that are maybe struggling to find their voice or acquire language in the right way, uh, maybe they've got issues with the vocal tract or something more psychological that's going on. Um, I'm working with babies all the way up to working with adults and thinking about how the voice works if people develop speech and language issues in later life, uh, people affected by stammers, people who suddenly find that they lose their voice all the time, that it's not supported or protected in the right way, um, people that are getting nodules and nodes maybe as well, things like that, um, and basically to keep the voice uh, and language really happy and healthy. So this is Colin, our wonderful technician who works here at City University. Hi Colin. Hello. So Colin, what do you think speech and language therapists slash speech and language therapy students do? So I think that what you do um, is you provide a service um, 
for uh, people like myself who actually really, really need it because um, we sometimes feel that we are a bit on our our, our own. So, um, um, and I think that you have a grip on um, the uh, complex um, stuff that goes on in in a stabber's mind and you provide an outlet for that person to talk and also I would say that you um, that you provide techniques uh, for not only um, managing uh, a stammer well but also managing the mental side of things as well so I guess without you guys we wouldn't really have anyone to help us so it's fantastic thank you thanks Colin <laughs> cheers <laughs>